To find the nature of these stationary points that we have found in part 2, let's make use of the second derivative test. So when x is equal to minus 1, let's check what is the value of v square y dx square. This is 18 over minus 1 minus 2 to the power of 3. d square y dx square is going to be equal to minus 2 over 3. And this is less than 0. So we are talking about a maximum point here. And let's do the same test for the other point. That is when x is equal to 5. So d square y dx square. Let's try to find a value. It is 18 over 5 minus 2 to the power of 3. And this is equal to 2 over 3. This is bigger than 0. So we are talking about a minimum point.